Alright guys, welcome back to another snapshot video, or is it? No, it's actually a Minecraft 1.10 pre-release review video. Wow, that was unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, after only 2-3 snapshots, we got version 1.10 pre-release. Um, this pre-release consisted mainly out of bug fixes. Um, the first thing we always test is do mobs still spawn on those magma blocks and in yeah, the bug fixing list it says normally mobs shouldn't spawn on there. Well in reality, so it seems it's not properly fixed yet, um, mobs still spawn as you could just see. Um, a change though happened um, of the behavior um, to the behavior of witches. So you can see now we got the orange particles that means witches when they step on those blocks start drinking fire resistance potions. So that's interesting. Um, we will see how that develops here I assume as it was marked as a fixed bug or yeah pretty much as fixed that mobs can spawn on here I assume in the next pre-release that will be then fully fixed. Then uh, there was another small change. Um, I was actually not aware of that, that this uh, was a thing. Um, that is the new nether ward blocks here. Um, before you couldn't set them on fire. Now you can. So we were thinking, cool, uh, maybe an alternative um, yeah, to a block that can be set on fire like the nether rack and hold the fire. But as you just saw, and we have our tick rates increased a little bit so it goes faster. It doesn't hold the fire. Same goes for the magma blocks. Um, they also don't hold the fire. Also here, if you can look at the item frames, there seems to be some rendering issues or lighting issues with them. It cannot be fixed by replacing it. It stays in there. Um, also, the teleport command um, got some new features. Or Actually, there is a new command which is called teleport. You can see that here before you used TP. Um, well, to demonstrate it real quick, we have the dummy creeper here and we want to teleport him over to Freddy and then on top here. So what happens with the old command block setup or, or old commands, you would have to use um, two command blocks. One here that teleports the dummy creeper over to Freddy and then the second one that teleports him up. And also, um, as you can see now, let me quickly do that it would keep the rotation of the entity that was referenced. See, Freddy was facing over there and Dummy Creeper um, yeah, is now facing the same way. Now with the new command, which is pretty interesting, you can give a rotation with that and you only need one command. Now I teleport the Creeper over there to the zombie and see what happens. So that's the new command, teleport uh, the Dummy Creeper to the guy Freddy. Boom. See that? He kept his rotation. He's not facing left. And you can only also do it in one command, which is for map makers. Pretty interesting feature. So that's that. Pretty neat. Um, another thing that was changed and should have been changed in the last snapshot already, but happened now, is the pathfinding of zombies um, or other mobs and the, how they behave with the magma blocks. As you can see, we have a villager over there where Pomis is. And we spawned a bunch of zombies in here and as you can see they nicely use their pathfinding to kind of look for the gaps bet in between the magma blocks. But sometimes, as you could see here, this zombie also walked over it. So it depends on their detection radius. Sometimes it seems the pathfinding doesn't fully work. And also if they have no alternative, so if there wouldn't be no gaps in between it, they would just walk straight over the magma blocks towards um, the villager and they wouldn't care. Um, maybe we can show the difference here real quick. Here we lost our villager. <laughs> the baby zombie got in there, that son of a gun. So right now, you know, this guy is just standing there and, and died, which was also quite surprising. Yeah, the random walking AI doesn't care about yeah. the blocks, so they just yeah. walk over there, but the, the tracking AI does care. Yeah, so now you see we have, you know, see, this baby zombie just runs straight at him. Now he starts tracking again where there is a gap and where you can avoid damage. So other than that, some small stuff was fixed. For example, some um, mobs didn't have enough oxygen supply. 
or some gravel in, uh, was spawned inside of villages instead of pass blocks. Um, also on the release photo of the snapshot there was um, some sort of present in a village. Could be that there is a new structure, um, a new village structure, but that's just speculation so far. Nobody has found it and we checked like a dozen of villages and nothing suspicious popped up. And yeah, that's it. That is gonna be Minecraft 1.10. Um, <laughs> Jeb's law applies. Before uh, people were m probably mad because they had to wait um, for updates that long. Now it seems we kind of went back to a quicker release cycle between the snapshots. Um, so yeah, 1.11 is the next step and we will see what sort of features we were getting there or we will be getting there and yeah, that's how it goes nowadays. Not so good for mod, maker, uh, mod makers I would assume if you have these quick development cycles. Um, but that's what we get and that's it for this snapshot or pre-release review video. I hope you enjoyed. As usual there's a link in the description if you want to read th through some more bug fixes. We're out. Bye guys.